Hey gang, Spada coming at you with a video review, this time of Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Dune Runner. This guy's a basic figure, or a scout class figure, and he's really, really cool. It looks like a very shrunken down version of the landmine figure from the first movie. I mean, he, he's a dune buggy, what, what can I say? So let me actually get him out a little closer and move my light a little bit. So, oh. So, uh, he is a... Oh, that doesn't look good at all. So, he is a dune buggy, and he looks very, very cool. He does have these two uh, guns on the top. They are... They appear to be uh, probably 100mm Gatling guns. I don't know. Well, 100mm might be a little big for a gun. That's probably not correct. But, I mean, they're, they're big. They're pretty cool. They go up and down. They, unfortunately, have no side-to-side -side movement, which is unfortunate, but, hey... He'd be great in a Twisted Metal con contest. I think I just dated myself. So let me move my light a little bit. Okay, so... He's, yeah, he's pretty cool. Little, uh, little Nest Autobot symbol right there. Kind of a Nest Combine Autobot, and his main Autobot symbol is up here. So let's go ahead and get him transformed. We're going to start off by just taking the sides and pulling them away from the body, and that will automatically rotate the wheel behind the figure. Um, these bits pop off, uh, especially on mine. The left one pops off all the time. I mean, I could just touch it and it'll just pop right off. But So we'll get those out of the way and just move them like that. Next thing we'll do is take the bumper and rotate that back, and that will rotate up the head. And unfortunately, that's as much as the head rotates up. Then we'll take the canopy and kind of rotate that in. And you can collapse it in like that. You can collapse it like this. I prefer just to leave it as is and just collapse it flat against his body like that. Then uh, take the legs, pivot the entire uh, front assembly around like that. Rotate out the bump. Rotate the bumper out to form the front of the feet. And get your finger in here and rotate down these heel spurs. There we go. And then, then you just rotate these up. And see, I put no pressure on that. It just pops right off. What I like to do is take the cannons and move them like this. So, there we go. He is actually, you know what he reminds me of? He re think, makes me think of the, this figure would be perfect for a G.I. Joe crossover. I mean, I really think he would make a good G.I. Joe crossover figure just because he's really cool and whatnot. He's got plenty of articulation. I mean, he's got tons of articulation. And he's a really nifty figure. Paid about mm, eight bucks for him at Walmart. I can't recommend this guy enough. Out of all the ROTF figures, he's one of my favorite. Out of the Scout, Scout class, he's up next to Ransack and Depth Charge. He's my favorite, uh, by far. He's just really, really cool. Really a lot of fun, and just really nifty to look at, and looks great on the shelf. So if you see him, I strongly recommend picking this guy up. 